getting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? We're live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Germany versus Hungary. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. All fairly run-of-the-mill in terms of what the keeper had to do. A struggle for Hungary to hang on to it. Well, he can be such a magnetic player to watch, Leroy Zane. Stuart, what are you expecting from him in this match? Well, Derek, we know he can score goals in many different ways, but I think he's at his most dangerous when he's running with the ball and hitting his shots with power. It's almost unstoppable for the goalkeeper. That's what makes him a great finisher. Andri, Germany in a position of menace. And played in by Joshua Kimmich. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Shalai. Oh, great attacking play. Oh, this looks useful. And it might be. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And so Germany get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? From one side of the pitch to the other. Good weight on that pass. Raum. A chance to whip it in. Now the cut back. Has eyes for goal. It's still alive. Kimmich might still be able to do a bit of damage but it looks so threatening but the danger averted excellent assessment of the situation at the back decent position for Germany to be in Kimmich really important tackle well, Germany have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes, as you can see. And some of their play has been really good. And if they continue to control the ball, as they're doing at the moment, I'm sure they get that equaliser. Yes, it's so true. For once, they find themselves in defensive mode. Now, will the cross work out for them? Well, I was on the cusp of saying he's at it again. Look as though he might score again. Well, he's certainly looking sharp today. That could easily have been his second there. Who can he pick out? 
Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, that's a what, and it's a penalty. The referee points to the spot, and it's going from bad to worse. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end, I think he's got it right. A penalty and a yellow card. <laughs> to make it 2-0. and tipping it over the crossbar. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Half-hearted clearance. A gift for any goalkeeper. Pascal Gross. And given away. Chance to cross. Must be. Tremendous block. Oh, a very fine header. But it wouldn't go in for him. Released it nicely using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, that was incisive. Surely the equaliser. Marvellous anticipation. Gross. One block after another. And a timely intervention. Orban. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Might be a chance here. Oh, tremendous save. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. And time for the change now. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. the corner played into the box danger still on huge block promising move from Germany a fine reading of the situation advantage played well it wasn't much of an advantage in the end and he's retrospectively awarded the free kick and with play stop, they will make the change now. Nice looking pass. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal.
So back on the way. One goal apiece here. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Substitution time it is here. Well, not quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Laszlo Kleinheisler. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. And snuffing out the danger. And the final whistle at the end of the game. The two sides cannot be separated. But what will the home fans be feeling about what they put into the game? Yes, Derek, they certainly weren't at their best today. But sometimes you just have to keep fighting, keep believing. And that's what they did. It's a well-earned draw in the end. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he just kept going, didn't he? And he was always going to be the one to get them back into this. Important goal, that.